it's Bonnie. Happy Monday night. Check out what I have. I am burning New York. Oops, where's the label, you guys? <laughs> there it is. Cherry cheesecake. Oh my gosh, this candle does not disappoint. I am so excited about this candle. I knew I would love this one. The only thing I wish it had was... Would it look pretty with a silver lid? Oh my gosh, I don't know why they put the plain white one on without the scallop on these. I'm not really sure, go figure. But this is part of the, this is kind of part two of the um, Land of Sweets. The first group of Land of Sweets had that scalloped edge on them um, like this. And then the second half just has the plain white lid, but they're like destinations. And this one is the New York one. It's very cute. It's got the Christmas tree on here. I think I see the Empire State Building. Just adorable little New York um, landmarks on there. And I love the jar style. And it's funny because I thought this was kind of like a light red, but the wax is definitely more pink when you burn it. I really like the pink. I don't know. It just adds like a fun, festive touch. Um, the notes in this one, you guys, are creamy vanilla, juicy red cherries, and graham cracker crust. And it's funny because I had said earlier when I was doing this one that I felt like this one felt more bakery than, say, like the blueberry sugar or the tea and biscuits. However, now that I'm burning it with the throw, I'm not smelling that bakery as much. It really just does smell like vanilla cherry to me. It's got like a really creamy scent. I do like it. Um, the throw is, I would say, light to medium. I mean, I don't think this, I would call this like a super strong throw, but it's not super weak either. I was burning it, like I said, in the small room, 160 square feet, and I was getting a really nice um, throw in there, but I'm not sure it would, it would, permeate like the entire large room. I'm just going to put this one out real quick so you can kind of see how pretty that wax is. Check it out. It's getting a nice wax pull there with this pink. Yeah, see, I can smell the cherry vanilla just, I mean, it's not like a black cherry Merlot. It's definitely softened with that vanilla, which I think is nice. I mean, it does. it's not like, so if you don't like that harsh cherry, I think you're gonna like this one a lot because it's more um, it's more creamy. So overall, I'm super thrilled with this candle. I think this is one of my holiday favorites and I'm probably gonna pick another one of these up for candle day because I want an unburned one in my collection. <laughs> so that is New York Land of Sweets part two, cherry cheesecake. And it's funny, I was cleaning out a few of my candles today and look what I found from last year. I think this was from last year, you guys an unburned marshmallow fireside. Isn't this awesome? Oh my gosh, this one smells so good, you guys. This is the cedarwood. This one says, it's funny, it's a cedarwood palo santo essential oils with notes of toasted marshmallow and vanilla. I think it's funny when they always change up the notes on these. Oh my gosh, that one smells so good, but I don't know why. This one just struck me as like so pretty as I was cleaning my collection. Look at the lid on that. <laughs> it just like really made me happy that I found that one. <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you guys think of cherry cheesecake. And tomorrow I'm either going to burn tea and biscuits or the London, I mean the Paris Cafe Latte. I don't know. Maybe I'll burn both. I haven't decided yet. I've got a really cool video coming from Tree Hut too. Um, that is the sugar scrub. I found something interesting in Alta. So that'll be coming soon too. So anyway, have an awesome Monday night, you guys. And let me know what you think of this one. I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>